ninth annual Pensacola Open, and these athletes prove that a little determination can you can overcome any odd, Fox, any any of the odds. Fox 10 News reporter John Rogers has the story. Out. Love 15. Most athletes tend to fit a certain mold with strict diets, fitness regimens, and relentless competition. 1540. But there's one trait that is considered universal. All athletes overcome adversity of some sort. It's not necessarily wheelchair tennis, it's just great tennis. It's the Pensacola Open, and it's not just for amateurs. I'm getting ready to watch, I think, the number one in the world, so I'm, I'm looking forward to this. There are players from across the planet qualifying for the 2012 Paralympics. Everybody here has his own story. Esther Vagir was only eight when complications from surgery stole her ability to walk. Vagir found freedom with a tennis racket, and now she's number one in the world. If you don't try, it'll never work, so try everything you can. As the chairs waltz on the court, it's an intricate yet difficult dance. They have to swing, pivot, and glide with precision. Their handicap does not hold them down. Instead, it lifts others up. It's kind of inspirational. You know, it just kind of makes me feel like on days when I want to take a nap, why aren't, why aren't I out there on the tennis court, you know? No matter what kind of, you know, hand you've been dealt with, you know, you can overcome and excel in life. These superb athletes stand out. They're not limited by their own abilities. Instead, they prove that doubt is the ultimate handicap. Reporting in Pensacola, John Rogers, Fox 10 News. The Pensacola Open continues this weekend. The athletes are competing for more than $25,000 in prize money. And the games are being held at the Roger Scott Tennis Center. And the public is certainly invited. So nice stuff there. And hopefully the weather will hold up for them. I hope so. Me too. Awful to play tennis <laughs> in bad weather. Yes. Preview of tonight's American Idol is up next. And don't miss the story of some Alabama students making a long trek in the name of equality. We'll catch up with them in the Big Apple. It's next on Fox 10 News.